But my favorite, my favorite, favorite memory of all time with my grandfather was when I was baptized by him. My favorite thing. Now I'm 12 years old. So for me, baptisms I had only seen at white churches. So they all kind of went a little bit like this. You step into a ceramic tub in front of everyone. <laughs> the water is nice and warm, almost as if someone had peed before you. You wade in and you stand there, and the pastor's next to you, and he looks out of the congregation. He says, everyone, I would like to thank you for coming out uh, for today. We're welcoming Brother, uh, I'm sorry, what is your name, son? Nate. Brother Nate. We're welcoming Brother Nate into the kingdom, everyone. So we're welcoming another one, and the angels will have a party in heaven. Which kind of confused me, like, why couldn't we have the party now? Because I love cake. <laughs> but apparently they're having it later in heaven when I get there. <clears throat> if I get there. <laughs> so he looks at me and says, son, are you ready to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? I said, yes. He says, good. Now if everyone out there can just reach their arms out and give spirit fingers. We need more God for this child to be baptized. Just more God. We don't have enough of God. We need more God. Because this little sinner at 12 years old has done some fucked up shit probably. And we got to get that out of him. Demon in Jesus' name. That was a black church. I'm sorry. We're still the white church. <laughs> uh, this child has done horrendous and heinous things. And in the name of Jesus, we shall. We shall uh, excommunicate it from him. There we go. That's white church. So he looks at me and he says, all right, son. Go ahead and put one arm over the other. Go ahead and hold your nose. I'm gonna dunk you under. Boom, takes me under, picks me up real quick. Crying, tears, everybody's happy, clapping and cheering. And now, like I said, my grandfather was a minister of a church deep in the South. The type of church that was big hats, waving fans, and I now. The type of church where we don't baptize you in a ceramic tub with warm water, we take you to some nasty ass lake in the middle of the country <laughs> in the beginning of April, where the water is still as frigid as it was in December, we do not warn you, but I, the minister, will wear waders because I've done this before, and you, the dumbass little 12-year-old, are gonna wear basketball shorts and a white t-shirt like you're competing in some titty contest. <laughs> so he walks me down, takes me into the water, he looks at me in the face. Nate, yeah, Papa? I now. Dumps me under. Doesn't say anything. No warning. Nothing. I don't cover my nose. I don't cover my mouth. And not only that, but he holds me under. At the white churches, you might be under for like two, maybe three seconds. That's enough to be like, good. This one, I'm being held under the water. Because apparently, in black churches, they want you to shake the hand of Jesus before you end up dying and meeting him. <laughs> and in that moment, I realized, Jesus does look a lot like Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out.